Hi, this is Shelley Kraft. We're coming to you live on SNN Live. We're at Biotech Life Sciences Healthcare Week 2013 in San Francisco. With me, a familiar face, Mr. Thomas Moore at Vaxis, symbol ADXS. It's a publicly traded company. Tom, welcome back to SNN Live. It is so good to see you again, Shelley. I'm very happy to be here. It's great to see you too. Let's get an update on Advaxis. You've not been here in a while, so. It's my loss. What's happened? So our, our Advaxis, as you know, is a company that's de developing a very innovative approach to immunotherapy, utilizing uh, live bacterium to create a, an immune reaction far stronger than you get with other types of immunological techniques, and then re redirect that reaction against the tumor itself. In the past year, we've uh, taken a 110 patient clinical trial on very late stage refractory cervical cancer through the point of completed recruitment. And we're only about six months away from closing the study up itself. We've been able to provide our shareholders with interim updates on that study. And what we've been able to show is that in this disease, which unfortunately has a 100% fatality rate um, and most within the first year, that we've been able to show an extension of survival to 33% at the 12 month point compared to a range in the US of zero to 22 percent and in our study six women have become totally cancer free and another six have seen a reduction in tumor burden of over 35 percent so in a, in a disease kind of like pancreatic cancer where there seemed to be virtually no way out we're very pleased to see this indication of an uh, effectiveness in our technology we're also happy to say that our severe adverse event rate that is situations which require hospitalization which in this late stage cancer with chemotherapy normally run to between one and a half and two incidents per person, our SAE rate is one one hundredth of that rate. So we're demonstrating both uh, good signs of clinical benefit and to date at least a very good safety record. I'm going to have you give the website. I want people to be able to go to the website immediately upon hearing what the topic is. Uh, cervical cancer is a killer. Not, I think what, number two behind heart disease, am I correct? Among women under the age of 45 worldwide, it's the leading killer. It is. Website. Website is advaxis.com. That's A-D-V-A-X-I-S.com. So I, let me be on the other side and ask, so when will this be coming to market? When will it be helpful and useful and available to women, mostly available? Well, the regulatory process and the process of demonstrating FDA in a very large trial that both safety and efficacy are to their standards still will take us probably about three to four years. However, from an investor standpoint, if we attract the interest of a major pharmaceutical or biotech company in the company from the standpoint of the stock, that significant event comes much, much sooner. Okay. My audience is interested both so you're capturing interest make a long story short when you compare what you can bring to the market to help women is there anything else on the market that's even as close as yours well you don't know everything that's going on but to our knowledge there is no other innovative therapy in cervical cancer that's under development or in advanced clinical trials at this point and uh, we have no, no one having plans to do that so we think we're fairly unique I also have to add of course that this technology is a platform so we aim to be in the clinic next year with a similar approach against prostate cancer which hopefully will also uh, eliminate the need for the most scariest term I know of called chemical castration it sounds like too many martinis um, but that uh, that product will be in the clinic we hope next year and that in turn will offer the opportunity of treating that terrible disease an approach that doesn't have all the uh, terrible side effects that the current treatment methodologies require so and as you get out your results of the clinical trials is the level of interest in the company from the professional side also coming to your company it is. It is. Uh, we have a great team, and over the past several months, we not only are seeing interest from key opinion leaders in applying this technology in other cancers that are caused by the human papillomavirus, like head and neck cancer, anal cancer, but we're also seeing increasing interest from the pharmaceutical industry in general, which uh, we like a lot. Well, I think that um, you know the the market is the United States, correct? 
Uh, we actually don't look at it that way. Uh, cervical cancer is not as big a killer in the U.S. as it is worldwide because the pap smear detects that disease at a very early stage. And we are in clinical trials to demonstrate that we might be a better alternative than the surgical approaches now used to deal with the early form of cervical cancer. But uh, outside the U.S., particularly in the lesser developed world, cervical cancer is a terrible killer and the current ways you treat cervical cancer are kind of impractical to use in much of the world because they require heavy equipment like x-ray machines and and gamma beam guys and and well as chemotherapy which requires a whole lot of equipment our approach is three intravenous injections over a period of basically two months so it's far simpler and our cost basis is uh, very much lower than that of any other medicines we're aware of out there so it's a practical approach to treat uh, the situation for millions of people around the world and in the United States and in the United States and thank you very much <laughs> and in particular you're right in line with Obamacare. Uh, we are actually, um, <clears throat> and the the broader vision of what healthcare could be in the United States and everywhere, namely less expensive, less painful to the patient, both in terms of side effects and in terms of the pocketbook. And we think we uh, offer the opportunity to go in that direction in a big way across many different uh, kinds of cancer as well as infectious disease. So this is again. I want to give the website one more time. It's at vaxis.com, A-D-V-A-X-I-S.com. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Tom Moore at Vaxis, symbol A-D-X-S, a publicly traded company. We are at the Biotech Healthcare Life Sciences Week 2013 in San Francisco. I'm Shelley Kraft. This is SNN Live. I want to thank you, Tom. Thank you, Shelley. Good to, to see you. Great to see you.